Well, politics are filled with drama, but it's nothing compared to the hit Tyler Perry series, The Oval. Karen Moore stars as the first lady, Victoria Franklin, and Michelle Obama, she is not. Just watch. I am so pissed at the two of you. Well, you're always pissed about some. Yeah, because of you. You are so damn stupid. <sighs> what is it? You know what? I will leave you two lovebirds no, alone. No, 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 no. So who were the agents? Excuse me, ma'am? Who were the agents who were at that tramp's store? Hey, Karen, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for making the time. How are you? I'm, I'm pretty good. How are you doing? You know what? I'm doing okay considering everything that's going on in the world, but I'm excited to talk to you about this show and this whole world. So let's talk about Victoria. I don't think we've ever seen a first lady quite like Miss Victoria. Manipulative, power hungry, evil. D did any particular person inspire you when it came to this role? I pulled some from a couple of personal experiences, you know, uh -huh. hurt people, hurt people kind of thing. I, you know, those people yeah. shall remain nameless. And, you know, Diane Carroll from back in the day, you know, and um, Maleficent, Angelina Jolie's character, Maleficent. Yeah. Okay. Because she, she's, she's, she's evil-ish. I think she's more misunderstood than she is <laughs> evil. Well, Miss Victoria is not afraid to throw down. We've no. seen some fight scenes. <laughs> is it, have you ever gotten hurt? Or is there a stunt double? Like what, what's happening? Fortunately, I do have a stunt double and she is amazing. She kicks major behind, but I do all of my stunts. Uh -huh. She just comes in and turns it up, you know, a notch. And it seems like it's just fun in general playing this character. You know, sometimes it's fun to just play somebody who's so bad. I mean, you know, there's all kinds of cheating going on. The kids are a handful, murders left and right. Um, <laughs> What can you tell us about what's to come on this show? Well, for season two, there will be a continuation of the Victoria, Sam, and Priscilla love triangle. We'll see what will, will come of that. And then the kids are shipped off by Victoria with their grandmother. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. It's kind of crazy. I think you'll see an unexpected side to Victoria. Yeah. yeah, you'll see her develop a relationship or two that you may not have anticipated and you'll see a softer side to her. Say, but what is that like? You know, I grew up in Atlanta um, and I was a military kid. So I spent a lot of time at what was Fort McPherson, what is now Tyler Perry Studios. What is it like for you to walk into that world knowing that it is owned by this Black man um, and that it is it, this huge film studio. It really is uh, a remarkable thing that he's done. And to, to know, like he said, that one black man owns, you know, what was a Confederate army base. It's, uh, it's, it's almost, it's surreal to be a part of a production there. And, and the White House was built there while we were rehearsing for the season. So we got to see it as it was being built and we used to tour it. So we feel as though we've been woven into the fabric of not only that structure, but the grounds in and of themselves. And so, you know, I think our ancestors are proud. Oh, I'm sure they are. <laughs> well, you can catch the Oval Tuesdays at nine on BET. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.